faces and all of that, and then you go rah, pop out your teeth, uh, and then I just learnt all of that, learnt the language, learnt how to do the dancing, and then I actually would go on to perform at these, at this school, at these schools, like, it's like that kind of stuff, and I think I was in it, I was in it from like year seven to year eight, I think, and then I just gave up on it in year nine, and that kind of thing, and it was an interesting thing, because, um, no, I would back, like, we would actually practice, and I would go to the school, and we would actually sleep over at the school, and all that, and we'd get food in the morning, and all that, and then they would tell us, oh, come get food, that kind of thing, it's like one thing in New Zealand culture, where they have this thing, you know, I forgot the name of it, but it's like, the, it's like a stay over. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the James Rambling Show, coming at you live on Friday night. Tonight's your host, James Bay. Hello, welcome back to the James Rambling Show, yet another episode of this podcast. So I've been talking about the school, the school stuff, and obviously done done the reviews of some of the Hobbit movies, still got the third Hobbit movie to review, or well, to put out, I should say, sorry to record it, but, so we're going to talk about school, so I talked about uh, the Blown at Primary stuff, and there was the childhood things and all of that, obviously that's kind of said and done there, but this t- this week I'm going to talk about the first school I ever went to in New Zealand, which is like the, the, the continuation, because after primary school, they actually call it intermedi- intermediate and in, in in New Zealand, which is like the years after primary seven, which which actually suppose actually supposed to lead into secondary school, but in New Zealand, you know, secondary school actually feels like year eleven, twelve, and thirteen. But we'll get into that when we get to year eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So yeah, even though maybe that that episode might not actually lead into year thirteen, because I've not I've not actually been. Not a year thirteen student yet. I'm at the end of year twelve right now, but yeah. So we're gonna cover basically my experience I've had at this New Zealand, the first ever New Zealand school I've been to, which is actually Hamilton Junior High School. So when I originally came to New Zealand, right, it was in twenty seventeen. You know, my mum was looking like we were just trying to settle in and stuff like that, like how you usually would if you moved to a country, do all of that, and then my mum was thinking about, you know, what school would I go to because. You know, the, there's there's schools that only go up, and apparently in New Zealand there's some schools that only go up to like primary six or something. And then she said, "Oh, you got an option between these three to one to three schools, right? Where one you choose, you go for." It. And then I just randomly pick Hamilton Junior High School. I go there, and then I sort of get the gist of it, and that kind of stuff in this, right? And it is actually quite a small school as well. There's like a hundred a hundred people or something like that, like, at my current school there's a thousand, over a thousand people, but this school there was only like a hundred people in the school itself, so basically we actually, like, most of the students knew each other, nobody, like, there was nobody that never knew anyone, right, and it was easy just to get, like, into these things that happened, you know, because, uh, you know, if, you, if, you, if, if there's a school with so many students, you wouldn't know everybody and that kind of thing. But that's kind of what it was like. Like, that is a, that's kind of like the, the school, right? But the school, right, the school has, like, the logo. It's, like, got, it's got green and all of that stuff. And it used to be, I used to live near it and that kind of thing. Like, the crazy thing was with a school, right, I actually... I actually had to walk 40 minutes to this school, right, so basically it took 20 minutes to get, it took 20 minutes to get to the school and then after I finished this day and all of that, I walk home, it takes another 20 minutes, so it's 40 minutes in total, but it's 20 minutes each, if you know what I mean, like like that kind of thing, but, but Hamilton Junior High School, right, the subjects, the, like, hub class, they were like these, like there was there was like these separate hubs, so you'd have like, like hub one, hub two, hub three, hub four, and you would have like all these different classes. So I think I remember doing like this wood tech class where I actually built this coffee table thing f- for my parents and all of that. There was that. Then I did a DVS, which is like you did all these gra like kind of like graphics basically. You did all these sketches and that kind of thing. 
and all, and then after that, I think I did the woods tech stuff like that, and that well, well, well it was just like wood stuff, and then the DVS, and then there was like food tech, learn about food, and we did the Scrabble thing, like this coding thing, that kind of thing, and in year seven or eight, um. I may have mentioned it on the show before, I don't know if I have ever mentioned it, but, but, like, I I was in Kapahaka, right, you know, this is like, I really learnt a lot about Maori stuff, which is kind of like the culture in New Zealand, like, it's kind of like the, the language people speak in New Zealand, and you have all the tattoos on the faces and all like that, and then you go, rah, and then I just learnt all like that, learnt the language, learnt how to do the dancing, and then I actually would go on to perform at these, at this school, at these schools, like, it's like that kind of stuff, and I think I was in it, I was in it from like year 7 to year 8, I think, and then I just gave up on it in year 9, and that kind of thing, and it was an interesting thing, because, um, you know, I would back, like, we would actually practice, and I would go to the school, and we would actually sleep over at the school and all that, and we'd get food in the morning and all that, and then they would tell us, oh, come get food, that kind of thing. It's like one thing in New Zealand culture where they have this thing, you know, I forgot the name of it, but it's like the, it's like a stay over, and you practice doing your, your hackers and all that. Like, yeah, it's kind of like a tradition that New Zealand has, but it kind of like relates to the school itself. Like, there's a lot of that stuff where they just, you know, they had that, that Kaba Haka culture because the, those teachers that were really passionate about it as well, so they kind of just threw it in there and that kind of thing. So, yeah, and it's just, like, the whole Habahaka culture was really big at that school. But outside of that, that, that's, like, one of the aspects I really liked about it, like, the cultural diversity and, like, the cultural diversity was actually interesting this time, you know, that kind of thing. So you had like that, and you had, there was that, and then there was like the people at the school, like it's kind of similar, right? It's just like the people, like my friend, I had friends at this as well, and there was a few people, right? I knew a lot of Maori people, because that was kind of, kind of the thing there. You had a lot of Maori, Maori people, and then you also learnt about the pepeha as well, which is kind of like, um, like how you would introduce yourself, like what your mountain is and all that, and the... You know, because New Zealand actually appreciates the their culture as like the mountains and the and the water and and the boats and and that kind of thing. They kind of like really appreciate that stuff. Like they appreciate it when when they have their boats and they have like the waka they call it, and then the, and then there's the rivers and 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 that kind of thing. And you learn about we learn about that, learn about that kind of stuff and how you do that at the school and obviously there was still a bit of mix of like so like the Englishy math stuff and writing things and, and that kind of thing and so yeah that, and then there was there's obviously the teachers like there was this one like there was a couple of teachers that I was really like there was a couple of teachers that I actually was really good good like had good real like I was like really with them like if I say is like, I had a friend, like, kind of grew, like, a friendship, I guess, like, my to a white tower, like, I actually was really, this was actually the period when I, like, really into WWE, and, and I talked to him about that as well, like, maybe more, I was like, oh, did you watch this WWE thing, and all that, I like that, like, during my, going to this school, I was really into WWE, like, I was into that kind of thing, and then, and then I remember when he just didn't like it when I was, didn't, didn't like it anymore, like, you know, what else, I can't remember what else there was, like there was that, and then there was Fire Jody. you know, she was really into uh, Maori stuff, and we had all these like assemblies dedicated to Maori culture, and learning about the culture, and learning about how that kind of stuff works, and we learned about all these songs that they have, we had that, and then I remember there was, there was that, and then we actually, right, we actually learned about, we learned about, um, what do you learn about? Oh yeah, we learnt about like these Japanese exchange students that came to the school. Like, they came in every year, I think, or have, and then you know they just wanted to get experience and all that. It was interesting because the Japanese the Japanese students were actually quite nice. They were quite quite nice to us and all that stuff. 
remember when um, when they came over, they asked the people when they were Catholic, wondering what the swear words are in Japanese, and that kind of stuff. We learned how to do origami, and we learned how to do all of that kind of stuff. But there is a bit of a, you know, I've said a bit of like positive things about the school, but this school, right, for the fun, for the first year or so, I was like, this school is okay, this school's fine, but like. It's a hood rat shit show, right? That that's kind of how I describe it now. Basically, that means like hood rats, like all these people want to be gangs, or like want to be gangsters, or they have gang relations, and that's a big thing in New Zealand schools, right? It's not everyone's like that in every school in New Zealand, but it's just a trope, and it's kind of a thing that happens, right? So like basically, it's like people trying to be gangsters, and they think they're they're like the cool kids on the block, and 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 that kind of stuff, and it's. Uh, it was irritating because it was you couldn't get out, you couldn't escape it. And I remember how I said, remember how I said, oh, you know, I knew about those shout out people and all that. Like the shout outs, like oh, don't you better follow them, I'm coming after you and all that. Yeah, those people, those were the types of people that like it was hard to ignore them because it was such a small school. So I was like, oh, why do I know these people and all that kind of thing? And I knew a few of them, like some of them are friends, and I realised, oh my god. Well, that's a fair many these people, like, it's cringe as I look back, it's like that. And then, like, there was this, like, similarly, there was actually, right, there's this a story, I do actually have a story to tell, right? There's going to be a bit of a, bit of a crazy story to tell you, right? So, you know, there was this girl at my school, right? I knew her, and she was kind of, like, one of people, like, I didn't know at the time, but she was, like, a serenity, right? I knew her. I liked her, like, as you know how you sometimes have a crush at school or whatever, like that kind of thing, yeah, I had that going on, and then it was just, like, friends there all the time, and we play, played the games together all the time at school, and then after a while, you know, came a realisation after she rejected, because she actually rejected me, because I was like, oh, I like you, blah, 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 and then when that happened, um, you know, things unfolded, and then that, then I didn't get what I was, and like that, and then that kind of thing happened where I didn't get it, you know, I didn't understand what was going on, and then just realising, oh my god, the school just is so hood ratty, like the hood rat stuff, just, why, just, you know, I don't get it, I really don't get it as I look back on it, and then there's that, right, so the hood rats, and then you got that, reject, got rejected by a girl, it was crazy stuff, right, it's a crazy school that I went to, like, you know, some I mean, of the teachers are fine, but there was just a lot of students that just threw me off, kind of thing, you know. As I look back, and then there was also just this other stuff where, where you know, you know, the, the people would get any fights and all like that as well. Like those food rat people would get any fights. They get into giant fights all the time, and they would never stop, and, and, and then they just had all the teachers and all like that. And I, so that, that, that's it for that kind of thing, that stuff, like, I think we also did, like, oh, I forgot about this, they did that, um, thing me day, what's it called that, it's like the sports day where you can actually f throw things, and you do that, and then we did the running day as well, like, you do a run, cross country, yeah, cross country was a big thing in that school, did that kind of every year, did they do that at Fraser? I think I did that at Fraser, I, I can't remember, I'm trying to remember now. But yeah, I might have done that at Fraser. But like, but like, you know, I just did all that stuff at school and then, you know, all the gang, the gang film all the beef stuff. So, but there's a negative side and then there was also, right, there was this like, I was also actually bullied at this school as well, I know. It's starting to sound repetitive, but I got bullied at this school, right, and um, it wasn't any nice because, you know, I was just trying to be... And I was trying to be who I was originally as a person, but then the school kind of influenced me to be a horrible person because of the, the, the environment I was in. So then basically I got kicked in the shin by this guy called Brody, and we kind of had that, and then also had this drama with Jay Van, which is this kid that I knew at this school. Because, like, you know, because I didn't know because I was on Instagram with these people, and I didn't know because I was influenced by this stuff. You know, an idiot online, and you know, one thing leads to another. We had this whole drama thing, and the guy with the J Van guy was saying, Oh, you're, you suck at rapping, and all that. And I took it too seriously, you know, 
you know, he was just messing with me kind of thing. And so I just didn't really know, I didn't really understand where he was coming from kind of thing. But the guy just, the guy seems like a wannabe kind of guy, you know. He just said, he seems like a wannabe, like, the person. And what else? There's, like, that, and then there's the Maori stuff, and the culture, like, that was, um, like, th- there was good parts of the school, and then, yeah, and the whole, the whole walking distance thing as well, that stuff just annoyed me, because I didn't want it, it just took ages to get home, you know, at that point, so, you know, that's kind of, like, a reason why I left the school, and then, obviously, getting rejected was another reason why I left it, because I was like, oh, why would I go to this school if I'm just going to have a, like, these gang still want to be, this one still want to be things, and I would just, like, in those times when I would just be really mad, and, you know, I didn't, I wasn't making the right choices and that kind of thing, and, you know, I got out of it, I got out of it, I eventually got out of that situation, but it was just really annoying, you know, going to this school, I was just trying to be myself, and I was trying to be what I was trying to be, but the school, like, um, uh, just like the education side of things, there was just, uh, like, I felt like I was learning the same things after a while, and I was just like, uh, like, you know, you know how you would learn the same subjects, like English, right, but you would be doing different things, it just felt like we were doing the same things, yeah, and there was the swimming sports, and, and, and that kind of stuff, and I was just, like, bullied, because there was this girl at my school called Jalali, right, and people thought, oh, well, they thought I was dating her and all that stuff, but I was just sitting next to her, so there was a lot of things, there was a lot of facts at the school that just made no sense, you know, I mean, I mean, just like, there was this other, the Brody situation, I know I'm going all over the place, but I'm just trying to remember things, because I just remember, this is 2017 to 2019, I was at this school, right, so Brody, I went in this, I went into the office of Mr. Cappy, which is this teacher, right, oh my god, he's such a horrible teacher, because he was telling us, oh, to so tell you three things that you like about each other, or something like that. I am not going to tell somebody that I don't like three things I like about them, or whatever it was, you know. That was annoying. It generally was just a school that I don't really like, uh, as, a, as, a, as a retrospective kind of thing. So I just really, oh man, I just don't really know where else we can go for there, because there's just... There is a lot of things that this school, like, there was things that it was good for, there was other things that it wasn't good for, and I yeah, just, you know, I mean, there was just, sometimes there was fun things that happened, and the friendships side, and the friendships that I made, and the, the connections I made with the teachers were alright, but outside of that, with the whole hoodlum sort of life thing, you know, I could have ignored it. But like I said, right, because it's only a, it's a hundred people at this school, right, there's no way you're going to escape that. There's no way you're going to escape that because a hundred people at school, you know everybody. And then you obviously, we also had like the assemb, the, um, the, what do you call that? Like the awards thing. You go into the thing, the room. We watched movies and all that kind of stuff. But like we got the awards and you just knew everybody. And yeah, that that's kind of it for this episode, right? Might be a bit shorter than usual, because I, they, like, I just, like, there's not actually a lot of things that, like, they're not, like, this school wasn't as interesting as you might think, so, I mean, yeah, I don't really know where to take it from here, I really don't, because it's just, it's just a really bad a really bad school, like it just sucked, and you know, I just had my friends, and you know, I met this guy, you know, I had to kick out to call you, I just had a lot of like friends, and I knew that kind of stuff, but you know, our next episode should hopefully be a bit more interesting, but I thought I'd just add to this, and kind of tell you about, well, I'd tell you about how I had this experience at at a school, Hamilton Junior High School, we used to just call it HJHS, uh, and that kind of stuff, and there was other schools in Myro and that stuff, and there was definitely that, and then obviously rugby was a big thing we played, and that kind of stuff, so I'm going to end it here before it gets too long, 
so I hope you enjoyed the episode, you know, don't forget, the same old usual, don't forget to check us out on Spotify, Anchor, all the same sources you would find me normally, YouTube, all that, yeah, see you next time, and hopefully, you know, you know, never going back, never going to this, never going back to this school, it wasn't the best school in it of all time, so, so yeah, I just hope you enjoyed it, and then, without further ado, good, Bye.